I feel like that last episode might have been a decently long one because we were running around in the corruption and then just like went back and then fought a goblin army. Yeah, but that army was good. I got my grappling hook. You just bought it outright. Jeez. Yeah, dude. It's how I roll. Oh, it's the king of England over here. Some people build cars from scratch, and some people go to the dealership and buy cars. That would be way too ambitious for me to actually try to build a car. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, seemed like a good video, I guess. Uh, I keep picking up headstones, which reminds me of all the times he died. <laughs> yeah, you should read them every time you do, too. Never. Of course not. You don't want to see how many times it's actually you that's died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, um, how many equipment slots do you have? All of them. Okay, well, here. Not bad, two empty ones. Here, take this aglet. I already have one. Cool. Thank you. Move speed, that'll help me die even quicker. Yeah. Now that you have the fast runny boots, and also a thing that helps you with the fast runny, then... Yay. So I guess we need to get gold armor or something like that. Gold or silver armor. Yeah, I think I'm still a little more worried about our weapons than I am our armor. Gold or silver weapons. Or like some kind of, I don't know, something that, that shoots. Some kind of ranged attack would be nice. I have my bow and arrow, so I guess I would rather get a golden bow and maybe some kind of ah, um, some kind of cool arrows. Those uh, blue stars that give us permanent mana. Do we make those, or do we find those, or how do we get those again? Um, you get them from fallen stars that appear at night. Oh, I just make them out of fallen stars. Yeah. We have like 10 in the house. I had a bunch so I quick stacked them away. So yeah, there's some somewhere. elevator I made just connected to another tunnel I made randomly. Science. Wow, Graham, your, your strategic genius is unparalleled. I don't know if I'd go that far. Your um, brilliance in tunneling? How about I did good? Well, if you want to be all highbrow about it, yeah, that, that sounds fine. Pretty much, pretty much. 
Um, probably gonna drown. Good, good. <laughs> Okay, I'm just juggling a lot of floating eyes. So where was this end boss Skeletor guy we were gonna do? The... The dungeon that I said the guy said we were too weak and pathetic to actually try. Oh. So then we need to find an even easier boss to kill. Or I think we might need to just get better weapons. It's like always night time. It's the point of having a beautiful overworld if you can't ever see it. It's always friggin' night time or so rainy that we can't see anything. What is this, North Vancouver? Yeah, pretty much. Just like the west coast in general. Yeah. We're gonna put you in the most beautiful place in North America. And you're like, okay. It's like, and then we're gonna make it rain the whole time. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> and we're gonna have actually accurate area weather. <laughs> Take that. Okay, so I guess I'll just go down this incredibly far drop with no rope or anything it rope just, just that's a good save style thing i just go wow You're fine look at you yeah you you put a nice wonderful cushioning of dirt in the very bottom of here yeah i'm brilliant see any mini map how it like links up to that other tunnel i made randomly oh gosh yeah cram sprawling insanity continues Right, building connections. Yay. It's like What's up there? There's something up there. Silver, David, Silver, get it. You're you're already Dave, get it. No you're, you're already doing oh, it. Wait, I have a hook now, I can do it myself. Yeah, you, you I just bought one. Uh... Right. Graham doesn't have the memory of an Alzheimer's plucky. No. That's somebody else. Somebody totally different. Yeah. Um, I think his name was Abraham. His name was Graham? Grim? Something like that. That's right, Blob 1v1 me. Nah. Wrecked. <laughs> I wish I had that sword that let me see through walls. Sky Fury? Yep. Like, the best early game sword. Yeah, it's not as much fun to go dig it in the dark when you can't see through the walls. Yep.
Well, are we just looking for better weapons and items down here, or do we have an actual plan somewhere? My plan was to fight the Skeletron, but for previously stated reasons, we can't do that. Um, yeah, well, it's time for plan B. What's our plan B? Gather stuff. Uh, okay. Terraria kind of goes in cycles like that. Um, you do stuff, and then you gather materials, and then you do another thing, and then you gather better materials. Yeah. Well, it's true we don't have any of those potions that make stuff glow. Unless we do back at the house. I will right, just take a look. Potions. Well, mining potion is nice. No spelunker potions, unfortunately. It's just so much easier to dig straight down with just dropping a glow stick at your feet than it is to go left and right having to plant glow sticks or torches as you move. Yep. The lazy way. By far the best. Ooh, I think I see a huge amount of topaz. Good. Maybe not, maybe not huge, but an amount of topaz. Good. Did you get it? No, I, I just looked at it for a while and continued on my way. Well, I wasn't sure if it was out of your reach. It seemed awfully quick. Oh, it was. See, a large amount of topaz is actually 10. Ah, cobwebs. Dead, Graham. I'm trying to see if my boomerang scouts, but it doesn't really. No, not really. You'd be better off scouting with a torch. I mean, it kind of puts these weird little sight lines through. Yeah. Little, little like particles. pink lines. Yeah, yeah, little particles. lead to our left? That's pretty big. That certainly looks like a large amount of lead, yes. Ah, uh, you knocked a hole in it. I was like, good, I have a big air pop. Oh, never mind. Oh. I was like, here, now Dave won't drown. <laughs> here, pour more water in, now Dave won't drown. Uh, how did I possibly pour more water in? There was no water where I dug, and then I put a little thing to make water go in there. Um, yep. It might have been me. I might just be blaming you. Oh. No, I have a net. I can't catch this worm. Can't catch water with a net. 
I said it was a worm, dude. Ah, uh, you're a jerk. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. I need oxygen. It's overrated. Look, we're almost as deep as we were that time that we did the other elevator. Yeah, but we're gathering lore, ore and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see a thing. It's over this way. Some blink root showing off a little cavern. Ooh. Where did the... Did I use this? No, I didn't. Where's the friggin' potion? He threw it at me. I thought I only threw one. Oh, I must have thrown them both. Yeah. I haven't drank them yet. Well... I'll throw them back to you. It would make you dig 25% faster. Yeah. It's not worth it. <laughs> I'd really prefer if it was 26%. Yeah, that would actually make you use it. <laughs> Be all over it then, but 25, I don't know. Just uh, seems a little weak. Oh, here, I'll throw you one and I'll use one. Just gotta get out of that hole. Sweet. Okay. Oh, well, that's five minutes? That's a long time. Yeah. It'd be kind of lame if it was only a two minute duration on a digging potion. Yeah, I guess. I think all the potions that have two minute durations are kind of lame, but... My yeah. Opinion. Well, most of those are like mana potions and mage potions, which should, by their very definition, be expensive and, like, annoying. Those are the potions I need the most. Yeah, you dirty mage. Try it. Ooh, silver and gold. Black slime. Shit. Real. Oh my god, I found silk. Oh my god, it's like Christmas. I don't even care what's happening to you now. Your concerns are below me. Oh wow, so easy to harvest. Everything about silk is just so wonderful. Yes. It's like putting a pickaxe through butter. Yeah. Through butter that completely randomly is either totally garbage butter or the best butter ever. And there's no way for you to know. I think I'm gonna make a pizza for lunch. I'm not sure talk when. Of... All this talk of butter has made me naturally think of pizza. Yes. Yes, so much gold. Old timey prospector. Okay.
Oh, I got some silver over here too. Sweet. I'm gonna be wearing silver armor soon. Well, we do have a lot of lead as well. If I drown, it's only because I'm harvesting silt underwater and it's worth it. Oh yeah, feel free to, um, die. Pretty much. I'm gonna get so rich off this. If we ever manage to get one of those, um, extractionators. Oh, we will. I forgot where we get those. I harvest too much silt for us to not. Yeah, it's like one of those um, companies that are too big to fail. We've bought up all of the stock in silt. Right. How the entire global silt market will crash if we fail. Yeah, we're geniuses. Clearly. Give us money or we'll wreck the planet. It's like, um, that kind of sounds like terrorist threats, but okay, here's your money, bankers. Yeah. Oh, what was, oh my. Whoa, okay. Um. I was just having acid flashbacks. No, I just fell into a giant hole. Like a giant hole in the complete dark. Hey, you didn't die. No, I fell in water. Oh. And you know it was at the base of that water? More silt. <laughs> and there's gold ore down here. Sweet. And bats that are killing me. Even with that mining potion, cold ore doesn't harvest quickly. My mining potion's worn off. Oh, minus two, that explains it. That was a quick five minutes. Yes. I'm sure it was quick for the viewer as well. Mm, who knows what you were doing? No one can see the awesomeness I'm doing. So it's hard to judge. Yeah. Everyone knows silt is infinitely more exciting than clay. But whatever. I guess clay has its fan base too. Yep. The, uh, the craft oriented fan base. Poor misguided fools. Yep. What dull misanthropes they are. It's not about that, it's just that, I don't know, there's something about minerals. Oh! You know, what happened? You still don't have a magic mirror, do you? Hell no, did you find a magic mirror? Sure did. Oh, ho, 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 attaboy. It's almost as good as silt. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, that's better than silt, <laughs> but not by that much. Yeah, it's by a very narrow margin, it's true. I'm harvesting so much silt and I don't have the machine to use it. <laughs> <laughs> have so you finished a full stack of it yet though? <laughs> so much of it's underwater, which makes it so sketchy. <laughs> yeah, you love it. 
doesn't have okay. an element of danger, then Graham isn't even interested. Pretty much. Or an element of food. I like food too. <laughs> an element of food. Mmm, yummy. Mm. When I went to that uh, big fest thing for the brewery, when I was handing out the beer to people, yeah, there was all those fancy food trucks there. So a bunch of my coworkers went and got like, like shrimp tacos and like other kinds of seafood and like Greek food and all this stuff, right? And I just like got a cheeseburger, and they were like making fun of me, calling me boring or whatever. And then two of them got sick, and I was fine. Nice. Nice. And they were just like, I guess my stomach's just not really used to like shrimp tacos. So I don't, and I'm just like, my stomach's used to cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, um, shrimp tacos at a stand in the middle of a hot sun may or may not be completely well, hit and miss. Food trucks are reputable things, like they have cooler systems and such. But still, if you don't eat a lot of seafood, you probably don't want a shrimp taco on a hot day. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I eat plenty of seafood, but yeah, try and um, still avoid things that are potential health and safety hazards. I almost got pizza though. There was a lot of people. There was a truck there that had like a legit pizza oven, mm. and there was a lot of people walking around with full like medium-sized pizzas. Oh, it made yeah. me so tempted to just like get myself a full medium pizza and just sit there like the pig I am and just eat the whole thing in front of everyone. But I was like, no, let's get a cheeseburger. Yeah. Another reason we don't, we haven't put out any videos in the last little while is Graham's managed to find himself a job, like a productive member of society. Yeah, it's. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it. Working Watch out, spirit, man. I suppose. Your boss could be watching this. Maybe. I don't know if he knows how to use the internet. I don't know. It's fun to work in a brewery. Not as fun as harvesting silt in Terraria, but what are you gonna do? God, if I could get paid for this. Exactly. If someone's just like, we'll give you a dollar per silt block, I would just be like, okay. Done. Done and done. Hmm. If you don't know, is that I carry several thousand silt with me at all times. <laughs> Where's my money? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dump. Be grateful, Graham. I'm not throwing out this three blocks of silt so that I can have more inventory. Well, obviously you're not. It's like the most valuable thing you own. It's not about being grateful, it's about common sense. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, I'm saving some bombs for you. I know you like bombs. Oh, I love bombs. Yeah, so there you go. Things that make stuff go boom. Me likey. I'll try not to throw them at you when I hand them to you, but no promises. Yeah, just try and remember that I did give you some warning before throwing that dynamite. Um, there's a lot of enemies just on the other side of this wall. I'm tempted to just kamikaze into them, but... Yeah, if you do, then behaved. it's sooner that you would be getting the, uh... Magic mirror for me. Well, I have a recall potion in my inventory, so I don't have to die to recall. I can drink oh. my recall potion. Yeah. And now the recall potions are basically worthless because we have an item that does that for free. Yeah. Well, we'll sell them for whatever copper they give. Ooh, underground mushroom biome. What? Yep, that's right. Every single game, Graham just like runs off in his own direction. I did nothing of the sort, I'm harvesting gold ore. You're right, that was actually me that ran off in the random direction. Yeah. 
found a magic mirror, a whole bunch of resources. Yeah, and you found the magic mirror. Yeah. Fuzzy stuff. Anytime you find a magic mirror, you clearly chose the right direction. So I guess it was my bad. Unbeknownst to me, I chose the wrong direction by not running over there. Yeah. So that makes two magic mirrors found by me and Gram Zero. Hey. I yep. find things sometimes. That's actual faction. <laughs> I find things sometimes. Yep. So I'll take the focus away from the fact that I almost said that's actual factual. I would find things too if I didn't have to buy my own grappling hook. Yeah, rather than finding the parts for it. Right. Alright, I'm gonna be called back. I'm getting tired of this. Bam. And killing this goth, this skeleton with some kind of laser thingy on his head? Or. No, it. It actually looks like something rather atrocious on his head. It's alright, I knocked him down a pit. Oh, Don't what? have to look at I that anymore. Build something called Sticky Bomb. And the oh, description yeah. is tossing may be difficult. That yeah. sounds so sketchy. Dude, I, I use that to harvest up um, stone when I need like big stacks of stone. You just throw it onto a surface and it blows and it's just like a huge amount of raw minerals just right there. I wanted those blue stars but I can't seem to remember how to build them. Getting a little bit too monstery. I guess I will also recall. Cool. Um, yeah, you want to toss me the gold and silver ore that you picked up as well? Uh, I quick stacked it into the. Uh, well, that's okay. The chest. You know uh, the one. Yeah. The one you put right by the door so when potential burglars came in they would just grab and take off. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll set up an elaborate lava trap for so that the unwary person comes through will just die. No you won't. I'll set up an elaborate lava trap so that when Graham goes through he'll just die. Yeah, that sounds more accurate. Alright, we do have quite a bit of gold and quite a bit of silver, so I think that we can make some gold weapons and silver armor. Oh. Yeah. These chests are in desperate need of some organizing, uh, but I'm not going to do that now. I disagree. It's like three different chests with seeds in them. Well, that doesn't sound organized at all. <laughs> no, no it does not. By the way, I'm using all our fallen stars. Go right ahead. I'm not the mage, I don't do stuff like that. Hooray. Sorry for being the mage. Even though we don't necessarily know I'm the mage on this server, but if I just happen to drop like a terror blade, then you'd become the mage by default. Ah, oh, jeez. Mm. 
you know you could set your um, home point to the bed or one of the two beds that we have yeah it's true Is there ever enough fallen stars out? Nighttime? Yeah, I guess. It's daytime right now. That's what I don't get. It. If a star falls at night, it should still be there in the day. It doesn't unfall. It doesn't cease to become a star just because now the sun's of showing. I I think what you're thinking about is a meteorite, which is fairly different. Oh. I guess. I still have one space in my inventory too, in my like equip slot. I should find something to put in there. Are any of these people gonna sell me something? Oh what? This chick wants to do my hair? Dave, can we kick this person out and get a useful person in this house? <laughs> um Okay, you can have the choice of the the chick with the beautiful hair, or a painter, or a dye trader. Uh, Personally, I'd rather the female fine. with the beautiful hair. All those people sound horrible. Where are the people who sell me, like, guns and armor and spells? I don't know. The Where gun the trader places? hasn't showed up. How do we- can we make the house bigger and get him in here, or do we have to go find him? Yeah, make the house bigger, add another level on it. You see the standard sizes for the rooms? Go nuts. Fuck standard sizes, I go my size. Oh, Christ. So we're just gonna have, like, a stone building randomly on top of a wooden building. I'm using what I have available. I'm sorry I'm not the king of England, I haven't harvested rainforests, okay? At least make bricks out of them. Aren't these bricks? It's stone. You're you're making it out of. This is gonna look like a friggin' druidic temple or something. Maybe that's what I'm going for. Ah, uh, you crazy druids! Everyone likes druids. It's like everyone's favorite Hearthstone class. Even though I think they call them shamans, but whatever. Same thing. The the druid is actually the one that I like. Yeah, see, there you go. But there there is a shaman and there's a druid. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to move someone else in now. You need back walls. And other things that I can say in a patronizing tone. Well, the game might not be ready for me to move other people in, but I'm ready. It's not my fault the game's way behind. Okay, so you've... Imagine you've made yourself a house that has a roof and two walls, but no third and fourth walls. Yeah, dude. Okay, first off, you don't seem to understand what's happening here. What I want you to think of is like a beautiful, magnificent sure. church. Imagine okay. it. A beautiful, magnificent church. Now, what does this look like? There's the base, which is like, you know, a building. And then on top, there's the real big spectacle thingy where the bell is. And of course you're going to have walls missing for the bell. That's like the whole point of the top of the church. And that's what I've built here. Why is we just the... need a bell. Why is the bell tower so low to the ground, so wide, and not contain a bell? Those are all much better questions than why is there no back wall. <laughs> so you're, you're improving. <laughs> Good job. Yes, now I'm speaking sans. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now you're less crazy. <laughs> All I wanted was someone to come in here and sell me guns. I didn't want to build a house. That's not my job. Yeah, it's somebody else's job. I started the groundwork for when I hire in the uh, construction people. Come put the bell in. Why can't we make a giant bell? What's wrong with this game? That should be the next patch. Let's see. Oh, fine. I'll make back breaks and put it in. I won't make you do it. I'll do it. Hold up. Just wait. I won't even use dirt because I know that makes you mad too. 
Yes, this way I cannot say that you are directly trolling me. Yeah, silver. Oh, fancy. I look like some kind of metallic wolverine. Yeah, out of boy. Mecha Wolverine. Can't wait for Hideo Kojima to come up with that. It's like, is it even a back wall thing? I'm like filling the room with bricks and now I can't even move around <laughs> here. <laughs> what even is this? You just. What, what what the hell did you even make? Did you make stucco or something? Yeah, it was you like. You made that's... stucco. That, wow. Um, stuff's in walls, right? And it's that just stuff like... makes up the outer walls. You you gotta okay. you gotta make back walls. I, I have fixed your bell question shape inquiry by making it more narrow by filling the walls with stucco. Please stop. <laughs> God. Uh, yes, any any pretense that you were not trolling me has just gone right out the window. Well, I didn't know what it was gonna do. It's my first time with this. I'm new, okay? <laughs> Give me a break. Okay, well, dig it up. Up, Contin continue digging, digging it up. You're gonna need to dig. Don't don't dig a hole through the floor. So you admit that this is an addition to the house by calling that the floor and not the ceiling. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn semantics. <laughs> well, now that you've admitted it, I might as well just uh, put a door in. But I don't really have a door and know how to do that, so I'll just use stone bricks. Okay, now I'm back to the crafting thing. Okay. Bricks. I got this, I got this, don't worry. Do you have a gold pickaxe? No, my pickaxe is silver. Here. Thank you. Uh. And, um, yes, yes, calls it, doesn't even call it stucco, it calls it stucco wall. Um, yeah, the ones that are in four, that come in groups of four, those are stucco walls. Stucco itself, you That's use so as the outer walls. So it's gotta be back walls, man. And considering it gives you four for the amount of stucco that you have, it's not absolutely terrible. Yes. Yeah, look at Graham, the master artisan. Okay, when I run out, I just come take it off the roof. Or I don't. Whichever. You know. You gotta use a hammer. Oh. You might or might not have a hammer. I like the better with the border. The border you're destroying. Oh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this grotesque looking stone with um, the stucco.
Parker. I guess I made the room too big. It's a lot of stucco wall. Sure is. He could have made it half as big. Well, it was only supposed to be half as big, but someone wrecked the border. Half as big and all the wrong ways. It's like, okay, half as big. So clearly the best way to do that is to make it the same size as the other one and then fill 25% on each side. Yeah. Makes complete sense. No one's probably going to move into this room anyway. It's probably going to be like, jeez, it looks like an insane asylum. They wish. They wish it was a wonderful theme room like that. Exactly. That would be like, almost festive. E Festivity has a very weird definition in the Graham household, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like, what do you kids want to do? Go to the fair? Go to the insane asylum. Insane Ooh, that asylum. sounds festive. <laughs> exactly. Like we do every Christmas. Yay. Yeah, this room looks way uglier than it looked when I did it. Yeah, you know what it needed? Bricks. No, it's all dark and gloomy. It's nothing like a bell tower at all. Eat. Yeah. Yeah. That. In fact, Dave, this might be the worst bell tower you've ever made. You know, you could be right. Mm hmm. But Anybody? this rope in the middle of the room is pretty handy. It allows me to go up and down. Wow, that's. Um put one of these in my bedroom. Yeah, Graham can climb up and down. <laughs> there we go. Now it looks like it's just got a pair of eyes. Needs a door. It needs a mm. lot more than a door. Oh, I've got some brick over here already. I've just made this out of brick. Uh, Egg gummit. Silver and stuff isn't all that good either barely gives any kind of boost at all. Whoa, this... This blowpipe has, like, perfect stats. Just has poor base damage. Yeah, I know. The... Best blowpipe you're never gonna use. Yeah, perfect stats. Did you toss me your silver pickaxe? No, I put it in the chest with the copper pickaxes. The copper pickaxes. Yeah. Well, I'm selling this garbage. Yeah, you're gonna need to put, um, a chair, and a table. And a door. There we 
go. You know what this dull, depressing room needs? Mm, An open bar. Close. That was close. Yeah, we just need to have like a stage over here, maybe some kind of brass pole, various lighting, um, and then after we've got all that set up, maybe we can look for a dancer. <laughs> well, I know someone who thinks she's a hairdresser. I could change her mind. beginning to sound a lot like exploitation hey maybe a little yeah i don't know it's terraria man that's what the game is made for it's not like we don't pillage the land yeah we might as well have we might as well be fascists and we evil do. bastards as well we're pirates here man we try and take all the resources for ourselves that's like what we do yeah Get up on stage, you stupid guide, or I'll continue to trident you in the face. Yeah, he's just sort of looking around a bit confused. You might get a little miffed after a while. <laughs> <laughs> 